Welcome back to Bloxy. In this video, we thought we should dive in a little bit deeper on how our pop-up system works. You will see how pop-ups are a great marketing tool for your website, giving you opportunities to interact dynamically with your users. As an example, we have an e-commerce plus a blog website presented. Let's start working. First, we must go to the content block section of our dashboard. So click on the button up top, then content blocks on the left side. Click on the add new button and then choose the pop-up template. Give it a name and click on create content block. In our first pop-up created, we will insert one of our newsletter subscribe forms using the Bloxy shortcode. We have already created a little design and saved it as a reusable block, but feel free to insert any piece of content you want. The sky is the limit. Once we're done with our design, let's move on to the pop-up settings pane. We will first need to choose the position of our pop-up. I think bottom left would be cool for this demo. Next, you're invited to choose the pop-up size. Let's go for small for this one, since we do not want to be too intrusive. The next setting lets you choose the animation that the pop-up will display once it appears on your screen, as well as its duration. And here comes the interesting part, the trigger condition. The trigger condition will let you choose the expected behavior of your user before triggering the pop-up on the screen. Once the conditions have been met, the pop-up will appear. For this one, we will choose to go with after X time, as we want to remind our users about the newsletter after a bit of time has lapsed, after they've had enough time to check out our website. Let's go ahead and set a value of 15 seconds. Next, we should check to trigger the pop-up only once, as we do not want to spam our users. Next, we need to set our Display Conditions Manager. In this case, I only want to show this pop-up on the home page. So I'll select Page ID and then Home. Don't forget the Display Visibility Manager. For our case, we'll only display it on the desktop. Great, we're done with the first pop-up. Now it's time to implement our second pop-up. For this one, we'll choose to show a promo video for our new product on our blog posts. Start by creating a new pop-up. And again, we have already prepared a design for this one, so we'll pick a reusable block. For Bloxy's settings, we will choose to center it on the screen with a custom size. For the trigger condition, we choose scroll to element and input the element's class name in the field. For our display conditions, we choose to only display it on the single post page and again, just on desktop. Great, let's quickly set up the final pop-up. For this one, we'll choose to feature one of our products when checking out. Let's quickly set up Bloxy settings here. We'll choose after inactivity with a time of 10 seconds. Display conditions, we'll choose the checkout page. And don't forget to set up an expiration date because this offer is limited. Done. Now let's go and check out what we have achieved on the front end. Very cool. On the home page, we get the newsletter pop up after 15 seconds have passed. Let's see the blog posts now. And sure enough, the pop-up triggers after we've scrolled to our designated section. One more thing we'll have to check out is the, and pun intended, checkout page. Great. Another story of success. The pop-up appears here as well. Well, that's pretty much it. Today we've seen how you can dynamically interact with your visitors presenting interesting content with the power of pop-ups. We hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, drop by creativethemes.com and we'll be sure to guide you through. Thanks for watching. Until next time.